and then they go play Terre Haute North on the 23rd. Or actually, they host Terre Haute North. A lot of baseball being played in the area uh, as uh, we have a good one here. Four to one. The North View Knights batting in the bottom of the fourth, trying to get this uh, game a little closer. Javier Hyam will lead off the inning. We also have Braden Krieger and Zach Buell to follow. Hyam from the left side of the plate. Outer third is granted for Casey Goodman as he starts off high end with a strike. Oof. Second inning, Casey Goodman uh, set the Knights down in order. I am got the end. I uh, got a little piece of that, and we have one ball, two strikes. Did you play ball as a kid, Walt? I did. Did you? Yeah. You any good? Uh, I mean, <laughs> it's okay. He's okay. okay. Yeah, That's he's about how I was. I was, yeah. I was mediocre. Yeah. yeah, I made a few all-star teams, but I wasn't like a star. <laughs> Pop up. I don't even know where that ball went. Everybody's looking up. Yeah, it's kind of weird. My um, those ten, our all-star team went 17 and 0, won the state championship. Wow! Uh, when I was 11, uh, pretty much the same guys. It was like <laughs> three and 15 or something. <laughs> <laughs> it was really something. <laughs> I, d I just don't know how that happens. Well, uh, but yeah, the, the my 10 year old. <laughs> Nothing ooh, left to play for. We, I know. We I, think I, I think I still have the trophies. Yeah, you know, but my regular season team, <laughs> we were winless. We were like the bad new Bears <laughs> did not win a game. We were like 0 and 22. Another foul ball. Man, we're like 0 and 22 rough, as man. 10 year olds. And I'm, I'm my, so my dad uh, managed Hardy's at that point, and he had like you know a bunch of coupons. There was a guy who, I'm not going to say his name, but my dad would, like, bribe him with coupons. You make a good play, he'd get a coupon. <laughs> but you make an error, you give it back. <laughs> what, 10-year-old? <laughs> Ball hit the short. Miller, a strong throw, oh. but oh, boy. Oh. In a collision, Javier Haim is going to get to second base. Ball was low. Boy, not able to dig it up, but and Boyd is right in the base pass. Very uh, good that Heim was uh, not harmed on the play, and neither was Goodman. And also Heim able to get over to second base for Braden Krieger. So that goes to E6. Either. Yeah, it's going to be an E6, mm -hmm. I would right. think. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's first error of the game on either side. Yeah. Break for Northview. Let's see if they can turn it into something. Big at bat for Krieger here. Strayers around the bunt. Hyam opportunistic. Go down to third. Errant oh, throw. Oh. Hyam's going to come home. The throw, not on the mark. Well, it is on the mark, but late. Hyam on his horse all the way and scores. Gets on with an error. Reaches second because of that. Ball gets away from Husband as he blocked it, but trickled to his right far enough for Hyam to get the third, and then the errant throw brings Hyam to the plate. So two errors and yeah. two bases on each of those errors. You Boy. take what you can get. Sure will. Now it's a four to two game. You got E2 or E5 on that. Uh, I would say that would be E2. Yeah. That's what I wrote down. I was hoping you'd say I, that. I, yeah, I didn't. <laughs> Yeah, the throw was he didn't have much strength on it kind of yeah. hobbled in there but yeah. heads up by Haim mm -hmm. great job by the uh, third base coach also oh a late swing on a high fastball 
It's one and two instead of two and one now. Mm. It's not often you have one batter in the inning score. Yeah. And it's not a homer. No, so. That's right. And not even the base hit. Yeah. Baseball is a funny game. One and two to Braden Krieger. Oh, an all speed little squibber. I don't know if he can get to it. Nope. Ty Boyd on his horse. Uh, just n too far into uh, foul territory for he or Braden husband to track that one down. Wind starting to pick up. You can probably hear the wind in our microphones. Hi. Two and two. Still no out. Knights have already uh, scored here in the uh, bottom of the fourth. Looking to get greedy. Looking for more. Off speed is high. Full count. Now you're hearing some chatter from the north, you dugout. Yeah, both of these pitchers have been put through it tonight, that's yes, for sure. Have. Both yes, kind of laboring out there. How much more does Case and Goodman have in it? Can he refocus and bear down to get out of this inning? Or will the Northview Knights continue to get on the base pass? And another late swing goes down with strikes. Last strikeout. Number four. Zach yep. Buell. Okay. Zach Buell steps in. He was one of those four strikeouts Goodman's had. One thing that you see from Goodman, uh, as erratic as he's been, only one walk. And a bunt attempt foul out of. Oh boy, wow. I was going to be out of play, but how about the uthel by Braden Husband? Deep into foul territory, dives for it, and makes the play. It's a big out. Trying to make up for that drop on the right. earlier, and that did. That was a great play. Yep. The awareness to find it so quick. That wasn't high. That was mm. coming down pretty quick. And I like the way it. you say that, the awareness to yeah. locate that ball. Absolutely. A lot of times you'll see the catcher spinning around trying to find it, That's but right. he knew exactly where that yep. thing was going. Jackson Ferris. On the first pitch, high, high, high in the air. Who calls it? Ooh, Jackson Miller from the shortstop position in very shallow center field grabs the ball as he's going to the turf. Knight scored, and it's four death to two. Your score. For North Hill, the bottom half of the fourth inning, they get one run on no hits. There were two wins and errors, and nobody left on base. At Great Dane, we are proud to invest in our people and community. Now announcing new starting wages for trailer assemblers and welders. Assemblers earn up to $23 an hour, and welders earn up to $27 an hour, with no experience necessary to apply. Enjoy great health benefits, advancement opportunities, 401k, pension, and more. We need the makers, people who are ready to make a difference. We need you. Apply today at greatdane.com slash careers. We're the Browns, and this is our account. Our relationship with Riddell really began when we were kids, so when we started our business, it seemed like a natural fit for us. Riddell's provided all of our financial needs for both personal and business, and we could not be happier with the level of service that we're provided. Riddell National Bank has helped us grow our business so that we can help grow our communities with the core values that we both share. If you're looking to grow your business, Riddell is your best option. You are watching the Lion of Sports in the Wabash Valley. Walter Gordon, Troy Wilson, back here at Northview High School. 4-2 to two, Linton on top here at the top of the fifth. So high School Baseball here. We'll have some St. Mary the Woods softball this upcoming Saturday as it'll be senior day as uh, IUPUC will come in town for a doubleheader. One o'clock will be uh, first pitch of the first game as uh, first pitch goes to the backstop. Ty Boyd, the batter, uh, the 
Pomeroy is a St. Mary of the Woods having a very fine season. Uh, won three out of four last weekend. Um, felt like they, honestly, if, <laughs> felt like they won two and a half and <laughs> lost one and a half the way that. <laughs> well, I, I, they played the Indiana University Southeast on Saturday, and I, I'm going to tell you what, IU Southeast is pretty darn good. Yeah. Yeah, they, they threw a, a pitcher out there that was just absolutely lights out. And, um, Boy, that that took a lot of sting out of the sails. St. Mary of the Woods came back and won game number two to split the doubleheader. But uh, beyond this, IU Southeast kind of went deep in their pitching rotation in that game. But a win is a win, nonetheless. Yeah. Then uh, the Pomeroy's uh, took two for Midway on Sunday. They'll be in action on the roads. Uh, Tuesday, home for Senior Day on Saturday. We'll be right there with them uh, at St. Mary the Woods. The one-two offered on a miss. Ty Boyd goes down swinging. Now that he looks Five Ks to now for Pierce. Yeah. Case and Goodman. He's reached base both times, singled and walked in the third inning, and ended up scoring that time. Speaking of both times, uh, the two previous years, uh, this is the third year of uh, NAIA play for St. Mary of the Woods as far as softball was concerned. It was a good segue, Will. I, I, I tried. Try. Hey, you've been working on this. <laughs> <laughs> the previous two years, they made it to the NAIA postseason tournament, trying to make it three out of three as that one's foul out of play. They uh, won the um, River States Conference postseason tournament on uh, the last two seasons to make the NAIA tournament as they uh, did not win the regular season any of those. They probably won't win the regular season this year either, so they'll have to win the tournament to make the NAIA postseason. Swung on and missed. Strike number two. Boy, if I keep talking about St. Mary of the Woods, strike I think three, Walt. Jackson P I'm sorry, <laughs> I meant out number two. Thank you. Strike three, uh, out number two. If, uh, if I can keep talking about the Pomeroys, Jackson Pierce is going to keep mowing them down, isn't he? Yeah, just stay, keep everyone distracted because he's, <laughs> uh, he got Linton distracted too. They're missing everything. <laughs> now this is, uh, of course, we've got them Saturday and we'll have three more games from the Knights this year, two of right. them here in Brazil. Mm -hmm. um, we will be here on May 1st as they host Edgewood and then May 14th. They host the Vikings of West yeah. Vigo. A couple of big ones there. Yeah. yeah. And then we've got uh, their showdown with Terre Haute North on May 10th. So that one on the north side. One ball count to uh, Blake Husband. Now two balls. Husband two for two with two singles. Yep. Yeah. That one's in there for strike number one. Boy, how big would it be for Jackson Pierce to mow him down one, two, three this inning? Yeah, after the trouble he's had in the last two innings, this yeah. would be a nice uh, breath of fresh air here. If he could knock Husband down and yeah. probably earn himself another inning tonight, yeah, too. I would agree. I would agree. 3 1 count. The designated hitter, Blake Husband. Mm, high. Ball four. Well, there goes the one, two, three. That's okay. <laughs> fifth walk to match the fifth, stri uh, the fifth strikeout uh, tonight. Five strikeouts tonight. Just can't let it snowball. And here's the guy you've had had his number all night. Walker's struck yep. out twice. Actually, that's a six, six strikeout, isn't it? Don't you got six? I have six. Okay, yeah. I almost sold the uh, Jackson Pierce short one. I don't want to do that. I bet he'd uh, trade a couple of those strikeouts for taking a few runs off the board, wouldn't he? Yeah, that third inning was killer. Yeah. Oh. And the ball hits Tyson Walker. And boy, second inning with a hit uh, batter. Now you go right back to the top of the lineup with Jackson Miller. Mm. 
That's why I said you can't let it snowball, so we've yeah, got to shut, shut it down that. right now. Yeah. We've got Miller coming up, and he's a tough task. That's right. And we're going to get, uh, are we getting a pinch runner? What are we doing? What are we getting here? Coach Harden is talking to the home plate umpire. Tyson Walker still at first base. And, uh,. There's a runner getting ready to come out. Yeah, let's see. He's going to second, though, okay. I think. See a number? Pinch runner number three, Casey. <coughs> hmm. Oh, Casey Pope, 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 number three. The Jackson freshman. Miller. Get a little more speed on the base pass. I like that. It's your lead runner. You're trying to squeeze out another run, if possible. Jackson Miller at the plate. Trying to put something into the outfield. Very important uh, for Gavin McMains to block everything. Nothing gets by you. Ball one is inside, two balls, no strikes. Well, you're gonna have to challenge this guy. You've had his yep. number all night. I know he's leading the team in batting, but he's uh, struck out twice. You've got him ground out once, so go after him. Unfortunately, that also could mean he's due. Well, don't say that. <laughs> Pop up. <laughs> I was trying to be positive, Walt. Yeah, I yeah <laughs> I agree with you. The nu the numbers speak pretty loudly, though. I I tell you, the numbers are the numbers, man. I just speaking of the numbers are the numbers. Guy I used to work with just found out he won fifteen grand at the casino the other day. Really? Yeah. You know, I work close to there, and it's a nightmare. I believe that. Haven't been there yet. I haven't been there either, but I've dealt with plenty of the traffic. <laughs> and it's awful. <laughs> I, I was just worried about my commute to Walmart. I got a pretty nice straight shot to Walmart <laughs> East. I want that to continue. Two balls, two strikes. Yeah, I've learned that Friday evenings when I get off work, it's, uh, I might as well just pop a tent in the parking lot. Cause <laughs> oh, between the home and first and second. Buell Whoa. comes up gunning an errant throw. Uh, and uh, Lear cuts it off. I'm not sure Buell's okay out yeah, there. Yeah, I think he hurt his arm, and he's he's going to need some attention out there in right field. Hmm. He's really smarting out there. Yeah, uh, I don't know if he kind of because the throw was awfully weird the way he came out of it. Yeah, he's holding hand. that elbow. Yeah. I've, you know. All the heavy throwing I've done over the years, I've pulled that muscle before, and it yeah. it's a killer. So let's hope that's not it. And we're going to uh, maybe have a pitching change. Yeah, as uh, Jackson Pierce, I think, is off the mound. We'll step aside for a break and come back as we also tend to Zach Buell. Hopefully he's all right. We'll be right back. Laser engraving at its finest by Fearless Designs is now available. Cups, bats, gloves, license plates, and almost anything you desire can now be a laser engraved gift for your family and friends or a promotional item for your company. Stay on the unique cutting edge of technology. Call, text, or email Fearless Designs. You'll be glad you did. At Great Dane, we are proud to invest in our people and community. Now announcing new starting wages for trailer assemblers and welders. Assemblers earn up to $23 an hour, and welders earn up to $27 an hour, with no experience necessary to apply. Enjoy great health benefits, advancement opportunities, 401k, pension, and more. We need the makers, people who are ready to make a difference. We need you. Apply today at greatdane.com slash careers. You're watching High School Baseball on the Indiana Sports Network. So we do get a pitching change and uh, a little bit more. Zach Buell has gone to the dugout. It looks like the pitcher, is that number 10? Yep. Trey Eldridge. A uh, right-hand sophomore will be your new pitcher. 
Eldridge looking for a good outing. He's ERA currently at 5.25, so you want to get that a little lower. Mm. Yeah. Of course, it's early on. That's based right. on not a whole lot of work. So. Right. So we'll try to get to the defensive assignment as soon as we have it or see here it announced or see what's going on. I, think I didn't see. Did they take Buell out? He came in with the dugout. Okay. Boy, a lot of movement. <coughs> so, here's what I caught. Cam Green, oh, Cam Green. Cam Green goes to center. Braden Griego goes to right. Um, not sure who's going to be in left. Was it Rizzler? Rizzler going to left, and is it um, Pierce going to third? Okay, thank you very much. Getting some assistance by a uh, fan here below us. Oh, Tony Harper. Boy, boy, fans, if you could hear what I'm hearing. <laughs> uh, you know, if we had a monitor up here, Walt, it might help. Well, I tell you. So let's see if Al Eldridge can fare here tonight. He's uh, just a sophomore, righty. Yep. Mm -hmm. First batter he'll face is Braden Husband. Hopefully the only batter this inning. As runners are on the corner with two outs. First pitch is in there for strike number one. And a little delayed steal, and Eldridge, hold the ball, young man, hold the ball, hold the ball. <laughs> Trying to bait him. Oh, and they almost did. They almost did. Yeah, good job by Traders. Hold on to that ball, don't throw it. Five to two, your score. Miners on top. I guess that goes as Miller's third stolen hmm. base. I suppose. Linton is good at distracting you. Yes, they are. That. They, yes uh, they are. All kinds of stunts going on on the base paths mm -hmm. to keep your attention away from the batter. Next one from Eldridge is outside. The two one. Inside, three balls, one strike. Knights nice trying to get out of this inning. Started with back-to-back -back strikeouts from Pierce. And I believe they had a, did they have two strikes on Husband, if I remember correctly? They did. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let him off the hook with a walk, yeah. hit Walker, and then. Mm -hmm. the single, dribbler down, uh, out of, down the first base side, out of play. So Jackson Miller down there at second base, the uh, pinch runner, um, Casey Pope, is at third. 
Three balls, two strikes. Let's see if Eldridge can get out of it right here. Foul ball. Good effort by Coach Harden. He was trying. Yeah. Didn't quite have the mobility maybe he had uh, 20 yeah, years that's ago. That's right. That's <laughs> right. You know, the grass takes a lot of the sting out of it. So it, it does. slows down enough. Big, big pitch right here. Yep. Wow. And a swing and a miss on another high offering. Knights get out of the inning, but not before Linton scores one, five to two, back for the night half of the fifth after this. Your all-pro running back, Jonathan Taylor here for York Automotive. Looking for an all-pro deal on your next car, truck, or SUV? York is my number one pick. With over 600 vehicles in stock, York has the largest selection to meet your needs. We're talking new, pre-owned, and commercial vehicles. Take it from one all pro to another, York has your best deal. Shop online at yorkautomotive.com and we'll show you why we're not number one, you are. We're not number one, you are. You're number one at York. Clinic Health Professional. Affordable, compassionate, comprehensive health care for the whole family. In Terre Haute and Greencastle. Well, the night for Jackson Pierce on the mound is over, even though he's still in the game. It's Unofficial line went four and two thirds inning, gave up five runs on eight hits, struck out six, walked six. I think Troy is nodding his head in approval. Is that right? Do what? You're, you're nodding your head in approval? Yeah. Oh. I was, you matched what I had. Man, I feel. I, I, I didn't add it up yet, so I was <laughs> doing it on the fly there. <laughs> Knights down three, as they were last inning. They scored one in the bottom of the fourth, but Linton scored one in the top of the fifth, so we still have a three-run deficit. Five to two, your score. Jackson Pierce batting in the eighth spot. Leading off here in the bottom of the fifth. He'll be followed by Isaac Rissler and back to the top of the lineup, Caden Trader. Knights 3-2 and two on the young season, 1-0 and oh in Western Indiana Conference play. <laughs> Got to make him come to you now. Cason Goodman has uh, labored at times, but um, he is uh, not... Um, uh, walk but one guy he's been around the strike zone enough how about North Putt starting the year 6-0 and oh. wow two ball one strike outside the lights are on here at Northview High School I don't really know why why Owen Valley's only played one game but they won it, so they're undefeated. Yeah, yeah, that's uh, where Northview goes tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And high, that's the second walk issued <clears throat> by Goodman this evening. First this inning. Jackson Pierce reaches safely. Now batting the left fielder, number five, Isaac Rissler. Rissler doubled his first time up but they weren't able to bring him in. We'll see how aggressive the Knights are going to be on the base pass. And if Rizzler tries to score down the ball, it's a healthy Ooh. Lee. Oh, my gosh. Uh-oh. And they throw down. They don't get him in time. Jackson Pierce, uh, He, I thought he was going to straight steal before the pitch was even delivered. Yeah, he took off really early, and then it, he got caught in no man's land there for a minute. They're able to scramble back just in time. Very healthy lead once again. No throw over. Bat 
A ball is uh, fouled back by Rizzler. Who now is your left fielder. Started in third at third base. One one your count. I wouldn't be surprised if uh, Pierce moved at some point. Two and one. Still throwing smoke. Yeah, overall, he's been pretty effective tonight. He's had his moments, but yep. hey, they, they were only able to put two on the board, and one of those was unearned. So. Right. And a hit out to left field. Is wow. it caught or trapped? They said, nope, he trapped it. Okay. Runner reaches second base, and he had them. Now we're going to get a conversation. Coach Harden is going to come out and nub. He said, I'll oh, forget about it. <laughs> yeah, he's going back to dugout. I think he was going to come out and object to the, uh, the uh, umpire. <laughs> it was like, nope, I saw what I saw. And uh, Coach Harden retreats back pretty quickly. Might see a change or just going to be a conversation. I'm not sure. Find out here momentarily. As let's let's go ahead and take a quick 30 second break. We'll be right back on the Indiana Sports Network. At Lynn's Pharmacy, we're more than just your pharmacists. We're your neighbors. Our kids go to the same schools. We eat at the same restaurants. We sit next to you in church. When I listen to a symptom. When I fill a prescription. When I offer advice, I'm not just helping a customer. I'm helping my neighbor and a friend. My name is Lynn Hofstetter, and I'm the proud owner of Lynn's Pharmacy, a modern pharmacy with old-fashioned values and personal service, dedicated to keeping you, your family, and our community healthy since 1872. Here at Lynn's Pharmacy, downtown Brazil. You're watching high school baseball on the Indiana Sports Network. And the conversation at the mound is uh, just ending. Five to two, your score. The Linton Miners have uh, come to Clay City and trying to get out of here with the win. They've uh, got to protect this lead for a couple more innings here as we're in the bottom of the fifth. The batter is the leadoff man, Caden Strader. He's got two ducks on the pond. Pierce at second, Rizzler at first. No out. If something's going to happen, you think this is the inning that it would, it would need to be? Yeah, Northy, they've, they've at least got to chip away a little bit here. Sky high in the center field. Nobody's going to be able to advance as York. Easily under it, gets it back into the infield. First out by Northview. You know, with just one away, you got Green, Lear, Hyam coming up. Yeah. This is this advantage of it, yeah. especially with two runners on. That's what I'm thinking. Green, uh, he's over one with a strikeout and a walk. But he's batting about 380 on the season. Good stop there by Braden. Husband has done a good job here behind the plate tonight, hasn't he? Really has. These catchers have gotten a workout. So yeah. it's uh, McMain's done pretty well for Northview as well, yep. considering all the all the dirt balls are getting yep. fired up there. One O's in there for a strike. One to one. It's one of those yeah. games they're going to feel it tomorrow. If yeah, you I, agree. Like. I agree. Even as youngsters. Off speed. Fouled back. Northview scored a one in the first. One in the fourth for their two runs. They've only had them sprinkle two hits together, though. It's been a couple times tonight. Goodman's off-speed pitch is pretty effective because you can see the Northview batters load up and then yeah. they just no power when they get to it. 
the one two is low two balls two strikes really fighting to hold themselves back yeah. until it arrives yeah. and like I said he's not not been as accurate as he'd like but he's been pretty effective looks at two two low three balls two strikes Peyton Lear on deck looming Big pitch right here by Kaysen Goodman. Wonder if he doesn't get him, will this be his last batter? I don't know, but I'm just wondering what's later on deck. And up the middle, good gobble by Fields over the first base. Does record an out. The runners do advance to second and third. But a good play by Jamison Fields ranging toward the first base out. Yeah, that was a nice snag. It took a funny little hop there at the end. He kind of got the old snow cone, but able to bring it in. And now once again, here's Lear with two outs. And uh, Coach uh, is uh, fielding the outfield toward the third base line. So once again, a massive uh, uh, hole uh, in right. Definitely playing him to pull. It's kind of like a, 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 a slow pitch softball configuration without someone in right field. <laughs> you know, this what kind of you have to play the four outfielders. Ooh, it's good off speed there. It was just froze Lear. One one. Lear was up with two on and two out in the third. Mm -hmm. Chopped it up the middle. They got the fielder, got him on a fielder's choice. So looking to do a little more damage this time. Even a single would probably bring home two. And sky high behind the third base bag. Gage Sullivan grabs it in foul territory. And Peyton Lear slings his bat in disgust. The Knights strand a few, a couple. They do not score five to two coming back to the top of the six. We were choosing colors for the house. And I stopped and looked at Mike and said, we're really doing this, aren't we? The process was challenging, but Riddell was there for us every step of the way. The mortgage, closing, they eased our stress. It made sense when Mike said, We're really doing this. Mortgage loans made easy from Riddell. Making friends since 1885. Shaw Chiropractic is a big part of Clay County and Northview sports. Dr. Julie and Dr. Michael are the specialists you need to help you feel better. If you're an athlete, a farmer, work in a factory, or just work in your backyard, you need the benefits of chiropractic care. Shaw Chiropractic is located in the Kroger Strip Mall in Brazil. Dr. Julie and Dr. Michael Shaw, your friends for chiropractic care. You're watching High School Baseball on the Indiana Sports Network. Well, Troy, we're hoping North could do something with that. Um, half inning, but how about the job by Payson Goodman? Yeah, he's done a great job tonight, really. Uh, he's been in trouble a couple times, but he's able to find his way out of it. Like I said, two runs, only one of them earned, mm -hmm. and uh, can't ask for much more. The offense has supported him. He's got the got the runs behind him, so we'll see how deep he goes now, but I would expect to see him in the sixth. With um, the bottom of the six, they'll start with um, Javier Hyam, who's your cleanup batter. Uh, but I, I would agree with you. I'd definitely expect to see him start the six and to kind of see where we go from there. For Linton Miners, they're going three, four, five. Russell Goodman, James Fields, and Gage Sullivan here to start inning number six. You know, the scary part is they've, they've scored five, but they've left nine on base yeah, tonight. Yeah. yeah. A lot of traffic on the base paths for the Miners. This guy's been a problem so far he has. for Northview. Goodman, he's uh, doubled and scored, been hit by a pitch, also walked, has an RBI. Trey Eldridge. This is the other Goodman, by the way. This <laughs> keep forgetting there's two of them. This is Russell. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
You know, we talked about the uh, chatter from the Linton uh, dugout that you hear right now. That pale is in comparison to the chatter you hear St. Mary the Woods softball. <laughs> they have a young lady, I think her last name is Broughton, and she leads the cheers like I've never heard before. <laughs> That's, it's so impressive, Troy. I mean, the whole game. Never stops. Oh, when St. Mary the Woods at bat, she just, she leads every cheer and I mean, it is extremely impressive. <laughs> One ball, two strikes to Russell Goodman. It's the Schrader gobbles it after oh, oh boy, after bobbling it. Couldn't quite come up with it cleanly. Rusters throw to first base. And that'll be E6, unfortunately. It's first error of the night for the Knights. Yeah, the second baseman, number 15, Jameson Fields. Jamison Fields with the man on and nobody out. The Elders with the steal straight up and uh, not even close. Elders had to go from the stretch. They went on first pitch. Easy steal there for Russell Goodman. He has displayed his wheels. Boy, when he scored in the third inning, uh, it was the way he came around uh, uh, third base, tearing around, I did not think it was a um, smash into uh, right field that I thought was going to keep him from scoring because it was hit so hard. Yeah, that was a hot shot. Yeah, and it was not deep. No. But he was tearing around the base pass. Surprise, that's, I believe, his first stolen base of the year. Hmm. But, yeah, he's got some wheels for sure. He does. This Lenton squad does have good speed. They do, and they use it. Not afraid to use it. No. Bounding ball down third base line, just foul. Pierce find another way to knock his hat off. <laughs> <laughs> yep. One ball, two strikes. Fields. Fouled back. Off of the catcher's helmet. Sun setting here in Clay County. Temperature starting, starting to dip a little bit as the breeze continues to blow. Foul ball behind third base. Is it out of play? It is barely out of play. It's good effort by Jackson Pierce as uh, the hat once again comes off. <laughs> <laughs> Not on there too tight, you know? No, no. I forget who it was. I I want to say he was on the Brewers or something. Every time he made contact with the ball, that helmet was coming off, going down the first baseline. <laughs> yeah. It's almost like he did it on purpose, you know? Uh -huh. Two balls, two strikes, because that one was outside. Another foul ball. Pepper in the football stands yeah, over yeah, there. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Speaking of football, man, I tell you, Coach Blaine Powell of the St. Mary of the Woods spring football uh, spring practices are underway. As a, there's that time of the season. Um, so getting his boys ready for the upcoming season. It'll be season number three. It's gone quick. It has. It's hard to believe, isn't it? It is unbelievable. Such a successful first two years, too. And how about Schrader as uh, Pierce had a little trouble locating it, getting to the spot. Schrader was in uh, an, in uh, pursuit, as was Isaac Rissler. 
Schrader is able to make that play for a big out. Gage Sullivan. Looking for his first hit today. Yeah, he's one of just two minors that yeah. hasn't got a hit yet. He has reached base, but he hasn't hasn't been due to the lumber. Thirty-third batter of the evening for Linton. That's a that's a big number for the sixth inning. It is. Tell you what, whenever they have a runner on base, so they are never still. No. They're always no. <laughs> jostling and jumping right. back and forth. And that's right. Creating havoc, and it's worked in their favor so far. When the, uh, the Northview Knights uh, bring Javier Haim to the plate to, to start the bottom of the six, he will be the batter number 22. So look at the discrepancy in the number of batters. Uh, that each team is sent to the plate. 22, will be 22 for Northview. And what I say this was? 30, 33. 33. Yep. Third less like, batters yeah. for the Knights. So. It's kind of like in basketball, you're, you know, because of uh, turnovers and offensive it's rebounds, you're getting more shots. Yeah. yeah, it's just more opportunities to score, the better. No matter what your sport. The time of possession definitely owned by Linton. Yes, <laughs> yes, absolutely. So, what do we got? A full? Nope, two and two, two the two. count. Nearing eight fifteen, so we're already over the two-hour mark. This is uh, headed towards a three-hour affair here, Troy. Yeah, sometimes it happens. Yeah. It's uh, nature of the beast. So <laughs> it's, you get a couple of pitchers that are clicking right off the bat, and right. you can be out of here in an hour 45 That's sometimes. Right. But right. Full count to Sullivan. And ball low in the dirt and a walk. So, the first walk issued uh, by Eldridge. Well, he's got a strikeout in the walk, I do believe. It's the second walk of the night for Sullivan. Mm -hmm. As here comes Ty Boyd. Big lefty. He is a big boy. Mm -hmm. Lent's got a couple of them. Good big boys on this roster. Looks at ball one high. <laughs> Northview, their first of four games this week. That is a healthy week. It's a busy one. Mm -hmm. So mentioned Owen Valley. They've only played once. They're one to know. Then they uh, no, they're chopping at the bit, aren't they? <laughs> yeah, they're ready to roll. Want to get out uh, and play somebody? Then they come home. Got back to back to back games here, yeah. don't we? Yeah. No, no, no. They do have one day off one in day there. Off, yeah. They play Owen Valley tomorrow in Spencer. Fly ball. Isaac Rissler in pursuit. Not going to get there. So it's tomorrow in Spencer, and then it would be Thursday evening. They host Cloverdale, mm -hmm. and they are 2-2 two and two on the season, 0-1 in conference play, and then Friday night at Crawfordsville. Well, well there's nothing oh, worse for a baseball player than being ready to play and getting rained out. Yeah. You like to say, oh, they're always ready to play. But now there's some days where you're more ready than others. I think we yeah, were all kind of waiting for it last Wednesday. I mean, yeah. that was a brutal day from the get-go. But yeah. Friday kind of surprised me. Foul ball out of play. There, I just remember days where, you know, I mean, feeling good. Maybe you had a good practice. 
you're feeling good about, oh, man, I'm ready to get out, get out there and tear it up, and then, yeah, weather. Yeah, it's, it's the worst, too. Yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. But this just happens. Yeah. That's what happens when you have an outdoor sport. It happens. One ball, two strikes. That's why I coach soccer while you play <laughs> no matter what. That's right. Ain't no rain going to stop us. You got to worry about no metal bats. <laughs> Behind second base. Caught is made by Caden Schrader. Knight's looking for one more out of the inning. No, one more out to get out of the inning, should I say. Kaysen Goodman, who uh, is, has really pitched, pitched a pretty darn good game. He has, and uh, he's not been too bad at the plate either. He's singled, he's walked and scored. The jack of all trades here this evening. Right. Swing and a miss. Goodman, a, uh, just a sophomore. Interesting to watch him progress through his uh, time at Linton. Yeah, both Goodmans are just sophomores. So yeah. The husbands have a year between them. Yeah, they do. So we've got Braden as a senior, and then Blake is a junior. So. Ball bounced two times on the tennis court. Would have been in play both times. <laughs> and a swing and a miss. Eldridge gets out of the inning with the strikeout. Linton does not score. Knight still down 5-2. to two. There was a time when your local pharmacy defined your community. Before the days of long lines and drive through national chains, pharmacists gave your health personal attention and you're always met with a familiar face. Back then, your questions were always answered, even when you forgot to ask. In Brazil, Indiana, that friendly local pharmacy has always been Lens Pharmacy since 1872. We are a modern pharmacy with the latest technology. Still deliver that old fashioned, friendly personal service today. Experience the tradition with your family at Lens Pharmacy in downtown Brazil. Treatment for those with mental illnesses and addiction issues has evolved over the years. In the late 1960s, Indiana's mental health system began to take shape. From 1971 to 2021, Hamilton Center has touched the lives of thousands of people. In central and west central Indiana, we are committed to the latest therapies to improve the quality of life for those with mental illnesses. Treatment works. Recovery is possible. And thank you, Indiana. You're watching the Indiana Sports Network. Well, Troy, jackets are starting to come on around here, and I'm putting mine on. Oh, I didn't yeah. even bring one. I'm a big baby. I got on long sleeves as well because I knew we're going to be in the shade, and uh, I get cold pretty easily. <laughs> you must. 74 I I right now. I didn't feel like it. Need a jacket at 74? Yeah, I do, man. It feels like 66 <laughs> to me. I just, I take no It's a little breezy, so I'll give you a little leeway. But I, You should be, you should just be surprised I don't have my skull cap. <laughs> I left that at home, but I do have a hoodie, so. You're not going to embarrass me then. That's what I you're try <laughs> not to. I, my, my goal is to not embarrass you. I appreciate that. I think we embarrass ourselves enough sometimes. <laughs> Goodman back out there. Yeah. The Northview Knights would love to embarrass him. Yeah. That's not. If he runs? Not going the way they've planned tonight. No, High am no. leading off. Northview two runs on two hits. I like these spiders that run around up here. <laughs> Goodman has walked two, I do believe, and struck out four. 22nd batter uh, here in the top of the six. Minimum is 16 at this point. So Goodman being pretty efficient. Yeah. Even with all the, I don't know what the, 
how many pitches he's thrown, how many balls, strikes. But man, he is he has really been able to get out of uh, some at bats. Hyam out of play, two balls, two strikes. Well, I mean, you look at it, he faced four batters in the first inning, mm -hmm. the minimum in the second inning, mm -hmm. four batters in the fourth inning, only five in the third. So nothing's gotten out of control, you but know. But it, it feels like he's going like five pitches per at bat at least. Though. Yeah. I mean, he's, yeah, he is going deep pretty with some of count. them. It's not like he's going uh, three up, three down with everybody. Foul ball again. So this is, you know, now going to be pitch number six in this at bat, right? Got an arm of steel out there. He's yeah. <laughs> kind of like a softball pitcher, you know? Be able to throw 170 pitches or something mm. like that. <laughs> they, I, That's they amaze me they, sometimes. I, I, huh? I agree. I just don't know. Don't know how they do. I it. don't know how their shoulders stay in one I, piece. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Hmm. Two two. Hi, ah, good eye by Hobby. Trying to get on base by any means necessary. <clears throat> Last time he reached on an error, mm -hmm. got second on that error, and then scored on another error. Yeah. Full count. Sticks his bat out there. That was going to be out of play. Good effort by Gage Sullivan at third base. Goes from the grass to the gravel and has to be careful, you know? Well, that's what I mean, running the bases here, you go dirt, grass, dirt, just yeah. going to first base. Right. <laughs> it's like that uh, change of footing would throw me off. I don't know. you got to believe it. Everybody's back in their positions, and now here comes the off speed, the, the payoff, excuse me, and it's uh, ball four. Javier Haim reaches base successfully once again. Especially when you're rounding third with speed. I mean, you're immediately going maybe one step in the dirt, and then you're back on the grass. Right. And, you know, this, we get a little bit later in the evening here. That grass is going to start getting wet. slick. Mm hmm Braden Krieger, this uh, the uh, what third time to the plate. Krieger yet to reach base this evening. Yeah. I am hoping that uh, Braden husband who has the ball go around his uh, feet somewhere. He'll take off. Not going to steal though. Doesn't look like as. Uh, don't want to run into an out, down three runs late in the game. Knights don't have too many outs with which to work. Another high offering, two balls, one strike. Are you taking here or are you swinging away? Yeah, I'm, he's losing it a little bit. I think I'd be, uh, it'd have to be a perfect spot. Wow. Mm -hmm. Or over your head. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'd be looking in a specific location. Sure. And sure. Uh, if it's not there, I'm not swinging. Mm -hmm. You don't want to help the guy out right now because he's throwing a ton of pitches, as you right. mentioned, and uh, he might be losing control here. Late swing. Boy, that does you no good. Unless you're shooting for that uh, first base line, which he might have been, because there is and has been for the majority of the game a huge hole. Both teams, too. That's right. Big gap in right uh, center. And uh, the, the first base line very empty. Back to back walks. Wonder if Coach Harden starts to think about making a move. You know, it makes me wonder because. They got somebody out there in the in the bullpen, and he might be coming in now. Might be coming in now as uh, the players over are the infield is congregating at the pitcher's mound, and uh, no, maybe not. It looks like they're waiting on a coach is out of the yeah, dugout. Yeah, it's just whoever there was somebody in the now the umpire needs to say, okay, guys, let's make a move. Let's, you know, this, <laughs> this, this, 
<laughs> this game's let's, gone let's on long here. enough. What are we doing? <laughs> let's do something here to bring them in or get the guys off the mound. Okay. Yep, we're going to stick with go Goodman, I guess. Surpri I'm surprised the umpire didn't go out to the mound to break that thing up. Well, they did have time in the bullpen. I did see that. Don't know who it was. But Zach Buell. No, this is Jackson Kirby. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Jackson Kirby at the plate with a two on and no out. Remember, Buell's gone out since That's that. Right. Chopper at oh. third base and it ate him up. And Hoyle that third is high him. Bases loaded as the ball went between the wickets of Gage Sullivan. E5? What are you calling that? Ah, uh, that took a really funny bounce. Ooh, they gave an error. An error. Yeah. Wow. Uh -huh. That one kind of surprises me a little bit. It almost looks like it hit where the grass meets the sure. dirt and just flattened out yeah. on him. Yeah. yeah. Usually they give him a little break, but there's no leeway on the road. So. And a potential pitching change. Another conference. We'll we'll see. Exactly what happens. We do know that the Northview Knights have the base is loaded and we do have a pitching change. We'll step aside for a break and come back and tell you about the new pitcher right after these messages. At Great Dane, we are proud to invest in our people and community. Now announcing new starting wages for trailer assemblers and welders. Assemblers earn up to $23 an hour and welders earn up to $27 an hour with no experience necessary to apply. Enjoy great health benefits, advancement opportunities, 401k, pension, and more. We need the makers, people who are ready to make a difference. We need you. Apply today at greatdane.com slash careers. We're the Browns, and this is our account. Our relationship with Riddell really began when we were kids, so when we started our business, it seemed like a natural fit for us. Riddell's provided all of our financial needs for both personal and business, and we could not be happier with the level of service that we're provided. Riddell National Bank has helped us grow our business so that we can help grow our communities with the core values that we both share. If you're looking to grow your business, Riddell is your best option. I ran out of my pain meds too quickly. I took more and more to get through my day. I did anything to get them. I needed help. I needed hope. I found them both. Professional. Safe. No wait times. Quality treatment. Regain something lost. Call or go to winrecovery.org. Well, the new pitcher is Blake Husband. Uh, as we uh, await the defensive assignments, I think uh, I know that uh, Case and Goodman is staying in the game. It looks like he's going into left field, but I have heard no announcement as of yet. Now back in the the designated hitter number 12, Jackson. Jackson <laughs> Ferris coming to the plate, down three with the bases loaded. Waiting for the uh, announcement on the defensive switches. So he took his brother's spot. Mm -hmm. I don't. Or did his brother leave the game, or did he go somewhere well, else? This is a. We <laughs> went Goodman to husband, though. Oh, you're right. There's too many walls. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm pretty sure that Case and Goodman went to the left field. It looks like that's where he went. But I don't know anything from there. We'll may have to wait till um, between the innings to ask Mr. McDonald. So walk, walk, error, and we've got loaded bases with nobody out. And if you're Ferris here, I think you're uh, waiting to see this This guy can throw. Oh, you're just going to yeah, hack it. We're just hacking it away. One. It's going deep to center. Tristan York not able to find it. It hops off the wall. One run will score. A second being rounded. Two runs score. And a man man held at third base with Braden Krieger. Excuse me, that's Zach Buell being held at third as Jackson Ferris comes through in a big way with a double. Boy, how big was that? Right back in the ball game are the Knights. Ferris, a huge hit. I, I expected him to wait and see if this guy could throw yeah. strikes, but first one he sees, he jumps all over it. So both of those uh, runs charged to Casey and Goodman, as is Zach Buell at third base.
This is Pierce up there, and he walked last time up. The 1-0. Late offering on that pitch. Maybe most importantly, no outs for the North Unites. Fairs at second, Buell at third. Kirby. I'm sorry, Kirby. <laughs> Gosh, I am so sorry. Well, no, the only uh, reason he did exactly what I said, and that doesn't happen very much. He hit that grass and he fell down. Yeah. I'm gonna keep harping about this till it changes. <laughs> might, might be a while. There's money, <laughs> there's money in the budget to yeah. rip some grass out, right? Mm-hmm. Ooh, close. Three balls, one strike. Don't wanna walk. The base is loaded here. We'll see what husband does. Ooh, a rip, a big rip there by Jackson Pierce. He'd love to get on the base pass and be able to cause some damage that way. Jackson Pierce, the starting pitcher for the North Few Knights. Went four and two thirds, gave up five. Trying to get some more of it back right here. Could it potentially give his team the lead? Foul ball. Ty Boy on his horse, out of play. Just over the fence on the first base side. Remember, there's still nobody out in this yeah. inning. Yeah. Knights are looking good here. If Pierce can just put one in play, you're likely to get that tying run home. Mm -hmm. The, the uh, two runs that have uh, scored for the North Knights this inning, walks. Yeah. The man who is on third base reached via an error. Good hack right there to foul that one off. Yeah, walk, walk, error, double. Mm -hmm. And Northview's right back in it here. Jackson Pierce had to protect the plate there, didn't he? Yeah. He's doing a good job of it. Yep. He's working him. But we see the infield. First, second, and third baseman moved up. Shortstop yep. playing at normal depth. Full count. Oh, it is in oh. there. Rung him up. Beautiful pitch from Blake Husband to record out number one. That's a big strikeout right there. That was huge because now you've got Rissler coming up and he's been on it tonight. Rissler with a single and a double. He just seems like he's seeing the ball pretty well. Mm -hmm. Still being shaded to pull like all the other nights here tonight. First pitch is in there for a strike. Isaac Rissler hoping to get on base, maybe drive in a couple runs and turn this lineup over. Caden Schrader, top of the lineup, leadoff hitter, would be next if the inning extends to him, and it should. Big swing there by Rissler. He's an old two hole. And stars in his eyes on that one. Yep. <laughs> Just takes one, as they say. And he goes down swinging. Back to back strikeouts by Blake Husband. I tell you, when these. Uh, when well, these uh, miners have needed a strikeout, they haven't been able to get it. Yeah, Goodman came through several times in a big spot, able to get a K, and husband doing more of the same here. Schrader's got to have a patient at bat right here. Oh, they're going to walk it. Intentional pass to Schrader to load the bases for Cam Green. That's interesting. Yeah, it is. So if you're Cam Green... I'm not sure what you're trading off there. If you grant Cam Green, how uh, how offended are you? Well, you gonna take it out on him right That's here. Right. Right. <laughs> but you gotta have a little bit of patience. Don't go chasing. 
Good eye right there, ball one. Big spot here for the Northview Knights. They've already played a couple in this half inning. Schrader and Green, the two leading hitters for Northview coming into tonight, and neither of them have a hit. Uh, a little bit late on that offer right there. Goes foul out of territory towards the, the uh, tennis courts. Excuse me, Rissler's actually leading in hitting, but which he's been excellent tonight, so. <laughs> One ball, one strike. Bases are loaded. Oh, a good pitch. Off speed on the inner third. Husband, one pitch away from getting out of the inning with his team still having the lead. Off speed again. Oh, it was a load. All of Greene County was looking for that pitch right there. Oh! Everybody took a breath on that one. That had to have fooled Kim Green because you have to expand the zone for that pitch. Another big moment here. Do you go back to back right here? Back to back to back? The all speed? Nope. Smash oh, up wow. the middle. A great grab by Husband. Goes to first base. And oh my, the explosion out of the Linton dugout. And I don't blame him. Linton five. Northview four. Back for the seventh after this. At Great Dane, we are proud to invest in our people and community. Now announcing new starting wages for trailer assemblers and welders. Assemblers earn up to $23 an hour, and welders earn up to $27 an hour, with no experience necessary to apply. Enjoy great health benefits, advancement opportunities, 401k, pension, and more. We need the makers, people who are ready to make a difference. We need you. Apply today at greatdane.com slash careers. Your all-pro running back, Jonathan Taylor, here for York Automotive. Looking for an all-pro deal on your next car, truck, or SUV? York is my number one pick. With over 600 vehicles in stock, York has the largest selection to meet your needs. We're talking new, pre-owned, and commercial vehicles. Take it from one all-pro to another, York has your best deal. Shop online at yorkautomotive.com, and we'll show you why we're not number one, you are. We're not number one, you are. You're number one at York. You're watching High School Baseball on the Indiana Sports Network. Oh, my. This is an interesting ball game here. It has gotten tight here at Northview High School. Walt Gordon, Troy Wilzine, bringing you all the action. The official line or, or the, the night on Casey Goodman from the mound is closed. Four innings. Uh, gave up four runs on two hits. Two walks, four strikeouts. That's very unofficial. <laughs> Consult with the uh, the paper tomorrow morning. He went uh, five innings. That's the only correction I had for you. Oh, yeah, <laughs> he sure did. He went five. He went five because this is now the seventh. Thank you, Troy. Yeah, but pretty good job overall, and uh, yeah, kind of went to pieces there last inning, but they were able to survive with the lead. The uh, Guys have come in uh, off the bench. Uh, I mean, uh, uh, for in, in uh, uh, off the uh, to the mound to help out the starting pitching have been helpful. And looks like we have another one. Who do you have here? Uh, Jackson Ferris on Thank the mound you. for Northview now. The junior right-handed pitcher hits left-handed, throws right. Of course, he had the big knock there that drove in two runs last inning for Northview. And we got, was that Rissler behind the plate? Uh, uh, is that a five? Well, it wouldn't be Buell because he's, I think he's out for the night. So. Yeah, looks like. Looks McMaines like has been behind the plate most yeah, of the night, but it looks yeah. like Rissler's back there. 
This is Blake Husband leading off. Oh, if he's behind the plate, then who the heck is in left field, Troy? I, I can't <laughs> see that far <laughs> wall. <goodness. laughs> Big pitch is golfed over to that right, right field. field spot again. That same darn spot. <laughs> you have got to be kidding me. You know, the bad thing is that's the second time Blake Husband's hit it. Ugh. What are the odds? It's his third single of the night and the second one to that exact area. So. Little blooper over first. That's the third time tonight. <laughs> Not bad work from Eldridge. He did okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he did. One and a third. Give up no run. What one hit? A no, pinch no runner hits. for. Sorry, what? Well, I mean, cut you off. I think that's Asa Gamble. I believe that's Asa Gamble, number four down there, the sophomore for Linton. Well, Linton trying to get some of these runs back, aren't they? Sure are. Tyson Walker lays down, uh, try and squares around the bunt. Oh, oh Zach Buell in back left. in left field. Okay. okay. So, yeah, that would be Ristler behind the plate. <laughs> it's hard to tell the fives and the nines. That's right. If I say that, then Tony Harper will talk about I'm blind. How about a blow? Oh, he can't get it. Throwing down, down the down second there. base, and they'll get him there. They do get the lead runner. Great effort by Ristler behind the plate. Just couldn't quite get to it. But we get the out nonetheless. You don't get to write a 216 very often. No, you don't. <laughs> no, you don't. Number 23, Jackson Miller. And it's not a double play either. How about that? Yep. Stays pretty much the same. Only got one out so now. That would go to 216 fielder's choice. Yep. <laughs> it's an odd combo. It is. Jackson Miller. Leadoff hitter. One for four. He struck oh out twice. Ball gets away. He's not paying it. Now he goes. And now he goes. He's not going to be able to get him. Double and triple clutch. Uh, Wrestler should have just hung on to that one. He was uh, about two thirds away down the baseline. And uh, it's a late jump there by Husband. He, uh, the, who, the, who the pinch runner, I'm sorry. Gamble. Gamble. He, yeah, he, he wasn't paying see attention. <laughs> he didn't see it. And then yeah. Wrestler caught it too late. And as you mentioned, yeah. he like triple pumped the thing. Yeah. And, Now runner in scoring position with one out. Good block uh, by Rizzler. Oh, inside, almost hit him. Got out of the way, and now we have three balls and no strikes. Perilous times right here for the Northview Knights after scoring two in the bottom of six. And really, the next three guys are the guys that have knocked you around all night. Pours one in there, does Ferris. Inside, ball four. Runners on first and second now. Now batting the pitcher, number 21, Braden Husband. Braden Husband. Uh, now with uh, runners on first and second. I, I just wonder uh, if we're going to uh, try to 
move some things around. I believe yeah, they're telling secrets husband, down there. Yeah, they are. It's a lot of secrets. <laughs> they're, I mean, they're getting carte blanche. You get to talk as long as you want around here tonight. Husband's got some wheels, is what I was trying to get out. So I'm, um, you know, I'd be interested in. Okay, third base is in. On a five steps on the grass, expecting that bunt. And he squares away, Ooh. pulls it back, takes a strike. Pierce was crashing down the third base line. And he now he starts about 10 steps on the grass. Got to be careful here. Off speed, just a little high. 1-1. One, one. back we're uh, embarking upon the three hour mark Troy and uh, it's been a long one it, it has <laughs> start to wonder about a pitch clock at some point and no, I'm just joking <laughs> just joking a dribbler foul you know, I remember uh, during basketball season, you and Tony I really know, getting into it. I know, it I know. That's why the I'm right away to get him going. He's going to turn my mic off. <laughs> you wonder if he has the same <laughs> feelings about pitch clocks. I'm not going there with him. I don't. I d <laughs> what? In favor of pitch clocks, I hear. He's a flip-flopper. Oh, he is. <laughs> that makes one, two. Whoa. And he swings and misses. The first base is occupied. He just realized that. He'll take a right turn to the dugout. Big strikeout by Jackson How Ferris. Number six, Russell Goodman. Boy, that was big. Mm. That was real big. First and second now with two down. Boy, if the Knights can come up with the bottom of the seventh, just down one run. Boy, you hate to get ahead of yourself. Russell Goodman's been to the plate four times, and he's been on base four times. So many opportunities, man, I tell you. Runners on first and second. Ball on the dirt. Blocked by Rizzler. With a name like Rizzler, he's got to be a ladies' man. I don't know if it's... <laughs> you know, the, the kid is saying, talking about Riz. If he's oh, okay. Riz, you I got you. His name is Rizzler. Oh, let's just go ahead. Sorry. You're showing your age, Paul. <laughs> <laughs> I just learned. I, I I just learned that, uh, you know, a few months ago. It was probably four or five months ago. I just learned that word. And I thought huh. it was funny. So, I'm still not sure what you're talking about. So I'm going to change the subject. <laughs> one one. Ooh, low Good high pitch. that time. Got the high strike. Well, he's a bigger guy. So. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Jackson Ferris. Been one. a pretty consistent zone. Yeah. I'm not sure who our umpire is, but he's he's done a pretty good job back there. And the ball gets away. Uh, wild pitch. Rizzler has to go corral it. And now you got to really be careful. Two balls, two strikes. You just wonder if Jackson Ferris uh, just, he just boys really lost his release point there. Bad timing, though. Yeah, buddy. Now you got to be really careful, mm. not only to deal with Goodman, but you can't let that happen again. No, happens again. You leave, uh, put a run up for Linton. Outside corner, three right three, big strikeout for Jackson Ferris. Knights come down for the bottom of the seventh, down one run. Peyton Lear will be at the bat. <laughs> Grace Clinic Health Professional. Affordable, compassionate, comprehensive health care for the whole family. In Terre Haute and Greencastle.
At Lynn's Pharmacy, we're more than just your pharmacist. We're your neighbors. Our kids go to the same schools. We eat at the same restaurants. We sit next to you in church. When I listen to a symptom. When I fill a prescription. When I offer advice, I'm not just helping a customer. I'm helping my neighbor and a friend. My name is Lynn Hofstetter, and I'm the proud owner of Lynn's Pharmacy, a modern pharmacy with old-fashioned values and personal service, dedicated to keeping you, your family, and our community healthy since 1872. Here at Lynn's Pharmacy, downtown Brazil. Well, it all comes down to this, folks. Bottom of the seventh. And uh, Northview Knights just down one run. Three, four, five is how they'll go. Peyton Lear, Javier Haim, Braden Krieger to start us off here in the bottom of the seventh. Just to uh, go back to... Uh, with the last inning when they had uh, Case and Goodman uh, came out and Blake Husband uh, took him in relief. Case and Goodman went to right field. Tyson Walker was in right and he went to left. So that is your, uh, your defensive adjustment after the uh, pitching change. Blake Husband looking to shut the door. Peyton Lear uh, looking to exact a little bit of revenge. Yeah, he's had a couple big opportunities tonight and hasn't been able to cash them in. It could all go for naught right now if he can get on base and yeah. start this Northview comeback. I, I know his out of his frustration, he'd love to do something massive, but boy, you'd think just get on base at this point. Yeah, he's been up twice with two outs and two on and hasn't been able to mm -hmm. cash anybody in. He did drive in the first run of the night for he Northview did. on just a rocket out mm -hmm. to the morning track, but and looking uh, to get something going here. I, I love the fact that uh, he took those first two pitches. It wasn't too antsy. That's a good sign. You know, Pink even Blair. if he walks, get your leadoff man on. That's we right. talked about that earlier. That's right. It's about a 75% chance he's coming around. Could be a take here on 2-0. Nope! He turns on one, but it's foul! Who? Oh. Crushed it. <laughs> goodness. Long strike. I have two words for Blake Husband. Outer third. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my. Coming into the hornet's nest in there. Yep. Two balls, one strike. And a smash! Left center. Oh, warning track power again. Oh my goodness, I thought we had a tie game, Troy. He got up awful quick, Woo! but it's just not flying out. The wind's blowing in just a little bit. You know, if we had a calm night, that might have had a shot. Mm. Another blast from Lear, though. Boy, he's got some power. He does. However, it's allowed out, and now Dorothy's only got two left. Javier Hyam has reached twice, scored both times. Can he reach a third time? Just needs to get on base to get something started for his club. First pitch from <laughs> Husband outside. And there for a strike. Linton has committed three errors tonight, including one last inning. <coughs> One and one, uh, high am and a bounce. Two balls and a strike. Been a pretty hard fought game from the get go it here at Northview. Scuffled early and uh, gave up the four runs in the third. Right now, that was the big inning of the evening. And, uh, ooh, did he check a swing? It didn't matter. It's called strike two. Able to answer back with a couple in the sixth. Make this thing real tight for Linton, but they're getting close to bringing it home. 
Two balls, two strikes to Javier Hyam. And a squibber to second base and Jameson Fields up throwing for out number two. So Braden Krieger uh, represents the last hope for the Northview Knights. Now that is what I saw right here, number 16, Braden Krieger. Krieger, reach base the six. Also scored. How close is that to your car? Oh, that caught the grass. We're okay. gonna <laughs> yeah, big bounce there. So I was saying, if, the first row. if it caught that concrete, yeah, I'm right here. So okay, yeah, yeah. I'm it was that first one of the night scared the daylights out of me. Nice. The O one. And boy, the yacker got him. You got to be careful it doesn't go back-to-back -back curveball because he's done that already. In his limited action here tonight has Blake Husband. No balls, two strikes to Krieger. In the dirt. It's a good take. It gets tempting in that situation just to fire at anything, you know? That's right. That's right. Linton. One strike away from going back to Green County with a win. And a shot in the center field, shallow center. Tristan York is there. He makes the play, and Linton gets the victory. Blake Husband. Uh, puts him down a one, two, three here in the seventh inning, and boy, Started with that loud out uh, by Peyton Lear uh, that uh, thought might have had a chance. Uh, just didn't carry quite enough as he got that one in the air. Uh, Northfield, a hard fought uh, a game, uh, but just uh, couldn't quite muster enough against the uh, decent pitching, pretty good pitching by the Lenton Miners. Yeah, it really was overall. Uh, Goodman pitched really well to start the night. Um, had a few rough rough patches in there, but boy, he fought through them really well. And uh, Linton earned this one for sure. They, they kind of controlled things most of the night and uh, Northview just fighting from behind the entire time. Almost had the comeback, but just not quite enough. Yeah, Lear put a charge into two of them tonight and uh, he's gonna be fun to watch as the season goes along for sure. But uh, you got two pretty good squads here. It'll be interesting to see how their seasons develop. Um, Northview three and three now on the year. Linton two and three. So right now, middle of the road, we'll see which way they end up going. And the uh, Linton Miners, we talked about them next game up, uh, will be the 18th versus Clay City. The Northview Knights will play uh, on the 16th, that's tomorrow, that's tomorrow at, at Owen Valley. So the three more games this week for the Northview Knights as uh, they are uh, very busy this week. There's gonna be a lot of pitchers gonna have to throw some innings uh, this week for the Northview Knights. Our next broadcast, uh, it will be Saturday on the April the 20th, will be at St. Mary the Woods for softball, double hitter. Uh, for softball, and that will be a senior day. IUPUC comes to town. That'll be a 1 p.m. first pitch for game number one. Game number two will be somewhere around 3 p.m. want to thank our sponsors, Fearless Designs, Fellowship of Christian Athletes, Great Dane, Hamilton Center, Lynch Pharmacy, Riddell National Bank, Shaw Chiropractic, and York Automotive. Our uh, camera operators, Cannon Harper, Noah Gas, Noah and Wyatt, and also a big thanks to our Producer and director, Mr. Tony Harbour. For Tori Wolzina, Walter Gordon saying good night, God bless. You've been watching a production of Indiana Sports Network, LLC. Thank you for watching. This program is a copyrighted production of Indiana Sports Network and cannot be shown, reproduced, or redistributed in any way or in any form without prior written permission from Indiana Sports Network.